Hi everyone, my name is Alana Epstein and I'm a sophomore at Syracuse University. I know that decisions just came out for a lot of people, so I wanted to make a video sharing my story about college and the college application process, how I ended up at Syracuse, and why I think you guys should come to Syracuse too. Before we get into this video, I want to advertise my TikTok because literally all of my content is about Syracuse, so if you're interested in getting to know a little bit more about the school, I definitely recommend you check out my TikTok. It's at Hey It's Lana. I am in the middle of doing laundry, which is why there are no sheets on my bed, number one. Number two, my voice is not 100% there right now, but that is totally okay. This video is is not affiliated with Syracuse University. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I am a communications major. I'm studying broadcast and digital journalism at the Newhouse School. That definitely was a pretty big factor in my decision in coming here. Syracuse was always in the back of my mind, especially because of Newhouse and how good it is. But now that I'm here, I cannot say anything bad about Syracuse. Newhouse has an amazing alumni network. We call it the Newhouse Network. The connections, the alumni that the school, Syracuse, has here as a whole is incredible and I've been able to connect with really really awesome people literally our current president went to Syracuse we are just getting hands-on experience we get access to really awesome equipment and you know I can speak highly of every major in the Newhouse School and every professor in the Newhouse School because they all have so much great experience you know obviously Newhouse is amazing our education school our Maxwell school our I school is like one of the few if not the only one in the nation our engineering program our architecture program is really good I mean I could just go on and on and on and on about all the different programs that we have here our business school too even our undecided program so you know if you got into any of these schools or even the ones I didn't mention like trust me like you're getting great academics as well but let's talk a little bit more about Syracuse as a whole the school spirit is phenomenal crazy like so so amazing we had a very like interesting season in sports this year we went six and oh for the first time in a long time our soccer team won the national championship for the first time ever our women's lacrosse team is number one in the country right now they're undefeated 13 and oh so that's also incredible we just have so many supportive students who go to the games and cheer on our team and you can just see that anywhere on campus that you go our duke game in the spring is our biggest basketball game and we have so many students go to that. Pretty much everyone goes to that. Like, I've never heard of a student not going to that game unless they had a previous commitment. We broke the college basketball attendance. That might be because we're in a dome, but we still beat it. So that's a pretty big flex. It was pretty cool to be at that game this year, even though we didn't win. The campus is just so beautiful. It's super hilly, which can be annoying at times, but it's so beautiful. Like. The fall is probably my favorite season here just because of the colors and the trees and it honestly doesn't really last that long but a few weeks later you have the snow and you can go sledding down Kraus and you know a few weeks later you have the spring and you can go for drives around campus and everyone's outside of their house and outside of the frat houses and the seasons here are just so beautiful and when you have such a beautiful campus with such beautiful seasons it's just like what more can you ask for going along with that i think the size is something really important to address i'll be walking on campus and recognize like so many people but then i'll see people like in my classes that i've never seen before and i'll be like what year are you and they'll be like i'm a sophomore and i'll be like me too like why have i never met you before so it's like small enough to the point that you'll see people you know all the time but it's big enough also where like you'll meet new people pretty much every day another really cool thing you know number one bar school in the country Syracuse definitely does have a reputation for partying please ignore that it's like a nice day and it's the first nice day we've had in a while so people are embracing this and going outside if you're a party person that's great because you're gonna love Syracuse if you're not a party person that's also great because you're still gonna love Syracuse because it is a pretty decently sized school you're gonna find people who might not love going out might like to have a chill night in like you'll find your people and I'm the kind of person that loves to know a bunch of different people and so I do and so I'll always have different people to hang out with and if I'm not in the mood to go out that night or want to have a chill night like you'll find people everywhere also the surrounding cities are really cool there's this place called skinny atlas which is literally maybe like a 30 minute drive and it has a beautiful lake there are some really cool restaurants downtown in fact a couple of them have been featured on diners drive-ins and dives with guy fieri so um possibilities dinosaur barbecue um there's this irish pub place that i cannot think of the name 
oh kitty hoins also really good there are definitely like really nice restaurants and then there's some really good mexican restaurants margaritas exo taco um so i would definitely recommend those the music scene in syracuse is also really cool obviously we have a really really great music industry program i'm a music industry minor we have the bandier program but also like we have just a bunch of really cool artists on campus and we also have really cool artists who come to the area to perform. The New York State Fair is in Syracuse every single year, so we have, what, like 10, 15 artists coming like a few minutes away from campus every beginning of the year. My first week at Syracuse, or my first night actually, Pitbull was literally here. Not on campus, like 10 minutes away, but the entire school went and it was so fun. University Union, which organizes really fun concerts. Earlier this year, we had Young Gravy, T-Pain. We have Block Party coming up in a few weeks and they haven't announced who it is yet, but they will be soon. I'm part of the radio station and we've been doing a lot of local interviews with artists coming to the area. Young Nudie was here last week. Oh, Kid Leroy was here a few weeks ago, Jeremy Zucker. So really great place for music great place to discover new music there are a lot of like low-key underground venues here but then also you have big names coming to the area as well and as someone who is a huge music person that's just really great to have the clubs and the opportunities to get involved here that we have are just insane i freshman year decided to be crazy and join every possible organization which did not work out in my favor but it's now sophomore year and i've narrowed it down to you know what i want to prioritize and what i want to do and i am just so in love with what i'm involved in here i'm in a sorority i'm very involved in z89 and citrus tv citrus tv is a student-run television station we have all professional equipment and all professional studio the news department puts out a live show every single day the sports department is always putting out shows and the entertainment department we have is great as well so that's just a really great way to get involved and get hands-on experience i've been involved in that organization since day one and have just learned so much and i honestly feel more prepared when I head to my classes. Z89, also student-run radio station, and we have all professional equipment. We are an iHeartRadio affiliate, which I just think that's so crazy, and I've gotten so involved with them. I'm the vice president of operations there, and I just, I love it so much. Just so many great ways to get involved, and like, that's something that I think is so important in college because that's how you find your community, that's how you find your people, and getting involved with all these organizations is what has allowed me to find my best friends here, and I'm just so grateful, but I'm also grateful for the experience, and it's a fun atmosphere, but it also gives you some experience, and like, you don't have to be a certain major to join a certain organization, you can literally do anything. So I think that's really, really, really awesome. When I was applying to school, I 100 million trillion thousand percent wanted to be in a city. But let me tell you, I am so grateful that I go here because I'm living the traditional college experience. There's always time for the city after college. You know, I think the city is popular for mid twenties, like, and I'm definitely gonna be living that life, but you know, you're never gonna be like 18, 19, 20, 21 years old again, being on a college campus, being surrounded by college kids. You leave campus and go a few blocks down and people are outside of their houses, just hanging out with their friends. You walk on campus, people are sitting out on the quad and like, I just could never imagine my life without it. It's just so beautiful to walk on campus every day and just be in this environment. And I think that's something that really like Syracuse can offer with also having the beautiful campus and you know the amazing different schools and programs that we have here a lot of people are concerned about the weather here and obviously you know syracuse is the snowiest city i think or it was labeled that at one point and that could be a big concern especially if you're coming here from california which by the way there are so many people that come here from california or massachusetts and new jersey and where i'm from too but that can definitely be a concern if you've been living in the warmth all your life. But let me tell you, one of the best things about Syracuse or about a school that has cold weather is that we appreciate the warmer days so, so much. We had a super, super, super warm day and everyone was out on the quad. Everyone was smiling. People were playing music, going for drives. And like, you can just feel a change in the energy. Obviously, there are some like tough days in the winter where it's like dark at 4 p.m. and then you go on TikTok and you see Alex Earl and she's like, oh, I'm going to the pool like at, you know, 5 p.m. It can definitely be difficult, but like you appreciate those warmer days so, so, so much more. The rest of the semester is just gonna be so much fun. 
it's gonna fly by but it's gonna be so much fun Syracuse also has an amazing study abroad program I have so many friends that are in London right now studying abroad is a pretty big part of the college experience so if that's something you're interested in Syracuse can definitely accommodate with what you want to do and help you out to find an internship or find somewhere to go abroad which is really awesome so pretty much every reason that I mentioned is why I am so happy that I came to Syracuse when I was choosing where I wanted to go, I was really unsure and I would turn to videos like this, but there weren't that many out, so I'm really hoping that this can help some of you guys. When I was applying to college, I, I didn't imagine myself here. I always had it in the back of my mind. I never thought I could go here, and now that I'm here, I seriously could not imagine myself anywhere else. Going to college here has allowed me to grow so much as a person, be more confident, be myself, just get great experience and meet amazing people along the way. I know for me personally a really big part of my career is networking and I have been able to do that so 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 many times here and I know it's only the beginning for me. I'm really sad that I'm a sophomore and I'm gonna be a junior which is so unbelievable but I know that some of the friends that I've made will be here for life and I am just so grateful. Like I mentioned earlier in the video please feel free to check out my TikTok and Instagram at hey it's Ilana, at Ilana E. Epstein. I post a lot of Syracuse content all of the time, so if you want to see more frequent, more daily videos, definitely check me out on there. But yeah, with that being said, I really hope you guys come here. Feel free to DM me, email me with any questions or concerns you may have about the school. I wish you all the best of luck with your decision. I really hope you guys come here. I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos in the coming weeks, so comment down below if there's anything in particular you want to see. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!